What's up, everyone? It's John, AKA Smelly Telly. I'm hanging out here with more music, moreguitars.com. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Paul Reed Smith Fiore. This is a relatively new model, came out in 2021. Um, and it is the signature model of Mark Lettieri. I've heard people pronounce his name different. I'm going with Mark Lettieri. Um, he's a tremendous guitar player. If you don't know who he is, look it up. We're gonna just gonna talk about the guitar. So on the surface, pretty simple looking guitar, right? An HSS style guitar. But um, when we get into the specs, there are definitely some things that make this pretty unique and definitely unique in the Paul Reed Smith family. So we'll start at the headstock and I'm gonna to try to make all this brief because there is actually a lot to cover. So you got the tuners and they call these the Paul Reed Smith vintage locking tuners. So it's kind of like an oxymoron, right? They're vintage and they're locking. Doesn't matter, they're locking tuners. That's always a big thumbs up. Uh, it does have a bone nut and uh, it is a 25 and a half inch scale length maple neck with a maple top with a satin finish. So it's, you know, feels smooth. Uh, all Paul Reed Smith necks are nice and smooth. I, I dig them. Medium jumbo frets with a 10 inch radius. So a little bit flatter, you know, it's not quite as flat as an LP, but it's a little bit flatter than a standard Strat style. We get to the body, it is swamp ash. Uh, this one does have, you can see it, you know, underneath, you can see the wood grain underneath the finish. I'm sure that'll come through better on the pictures that we take. And we get to the controls and the pickups, and that's where things get a little bit more special or, or unique. So these are basically the Fiore pickups, the Paul Reed Smith Fiore bridge pickup, Paul Reed Smith Fiore single coils. They're made just for this model. Um, we'll get some sounds with those in a little bit. And again, on the surface, you know, we have a volume, master volume for everything. You got a tone control for these two pickups and then this one for the bridge and a five-way selector. There is a little bit more going on, but before we get into that, let's go through some sounds just kind of set up in a traditional way. We'll go through some clean sounds first and I'll follow up with some dirty sounds. Um, we're gonna start with the bridge pickup, which Larry absolutely loves. He loves this bridge pickup. He can't wait for someone to start selling them in the aftermarket so he can snag one. <laughs> Literally, the sound he's been hearing in his head is what he said to me, which is a lot better than the sound that's in my head, which is my mother constantly yelling at me. Anyways, clean sounds with the bridge pickup. And that's with tone and everything all the way up. I do think it's a great sound in bridge pick or humbucker. So I agree. We'll go to position two, which is these two. And then of course the middle pickup. And then position four, which is, you know, your neck and middle together. Has that familiar two and four, or sorry, position four kind of sound. And then the neck. They're pretty powerful sounding. I don't know if that comes across in the video, but they definitely have some oomph to them. talking mostly about the single coils. Okay, so seemingly that would be the end of it, but it's not. It's Paul Reed Smith, so there's gonna be some extra little things. Both of these tone controls have pull pots on them. So we're gonna start with this one. When you pull this one up, what it does in positions one and five, it takes your bridge pickup and your neck pickup and puts them together. Just the bridge pickup, bridge and neck together. And again, like I said, same thing when you're in your five position. In that position, it's subtle. The difference is subtle, but it's there. And we'll listen to all these with some dirt in just a little bit too. Okay, so with this one pulled up in positions two and four, you actually get all three pickups together. 
regular position for, just these two. This brings the humbucker in. Again, it's a subtle difference. It may come across a little bit more when we put some gain on it. Okay, so now this one. We pull this tone, or sorry, yeah, it's the tone control. We pull that up and you would think, well, it splits the humbucker, right? It, no, it doesn't. It, uh, it actually takes the humbucker, which is wired in series, but when you pull it up, puts it in parallel, so you can kind of a little bit of two single coils together, almost like a position two kind of sound. Definitely gives it more of a single coil type of character. Now, when you combine these <laughs> with all the pulls and pushes and all that stuff, what I read, there's like 11 different combinations. So this is complicated. Read the manual. You're going to want to get the manual out on this. So we have this now in parallel, your bridge pickup. So when you go to position two, this is with the other tone control in standard. So now you get the bridge in the middle together, except the bridge is in parallel. Series, bridge. All right. Now, when we pull the other one up, this is really going to get complicated. So we've got our bridge pickup in parallel. And since we pulled this one up, we've got the neck pickup and the bridge together, except the bridge is in parallel. We'll go back series and parallel. When we go with both of them pulled up, we go to positions two and four. Now we get all three pickups together, except this bridge again is in uh, parallel instead of series. Now we get to do it all again with some dirt. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm turning on the dirt. Here comes the dirt. Now we're gonna just go back. Everything is set more kind of traditional. We're back to Larry's dream bridge pickup right here. It is unique sounding. I told him I thought it was PAF-ish, but I was wrong. It's the sound of rock and roll. <laughs> I think it sounds awesome, though. It does, to me, it has the PAF clarity, but yeah, it's definitely got something more aggressive, but also uh, balanced. It's actually a very well-balanced pickup. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of combinations to go through, so we can't just hang here. Position two with the gain. Middle. Position four. Finally, position five. Okay, now, here we go. So let's go, we'll do uh, the middle tone or the tone number one. So again, so this puts, when we pull it up, puts the bridge and the neck together. Just the bridge, bridge and neck. And remember, it's the same way in position five, so I'm not gonna go position five. We'll go to position two, and so now what that does is it puts all three of them together. Position two, standard. Position two, all of them together. Yeah, I stand by my comment earlier, it's a subtle difference, at least in the room it's subtle. Okay, so now, Pull this one up to turn the bridge from series to parallel. It's hard, it's hard to say parallel without sounding like you've been drinking parallel. <laughs> it's parallel. I've not been drinking. Series. 
That was parallel, back to series. Parallel. So I don't, I think that's less subtle, especially with the gain on. I like both actually sounds cool. All right, so we're in parallel position two with middle and bridge in parallel. And then let's pull this one up. This puts all three of them together, but the bridge is in parallel. Pretty fat sounding, right? And I think that is all of the combinations, I think. Um, did we do, I don't know if we did bridge and neck in parallel, with the bridge being parallel. So, <laughs> days and days and days of tweaking and pulling and pushing and sw swapping and all of that. It's pretty cool. So you have a lot of um, choices, you know, that you can spend uh, your entire weekend doing what I did. Just this over and over and over again. This is pretty cool. Uh, this was a model that I think Everybody here at the store was pretty excited about when I got the text message this morning saying I was going to get to play it. I was very excited. Um, just because I think Mark is such a tremendous player, I knew this had to be a great guitar. So, and I was not wrong. This is, it plays great. I think it sounds great. It's unique. It doesn't, doesn't exactly do the standard HSS thing. It's kind of got its own character, which I think is awesome because there are already a ton of HSS type of guitars out there. <laughs> this one kind of stands on its own and has its own thing going on, which is cool. I believe the colors are like red, white, and black. I don't know if we have any other colors. I tell you we have this color, unless I'm imagining it right now. Amaryllis. This is called Amaryllis. Amaryllis. Parallel Amaryllis. <laughs> it's parallel. Amaryllis. I've not been drinking. I've had a lot too much coffee maybe, but Amaryllis. Parallel Amaryllis. I like it. It's pretty cool. So if you're interested in this guitar, of course, as always, you can call down here, talk to one of our sales associates, or hit us up online, or come into the store. It's even better because we got all kinds of really cool stuff going on here, and it's Christmas time, and you might want to come in and buy something for your favorite YouTube personality. But we'll see. Uh, yeah, it's really cool, and we'll get, Larry, I'll get you some pictures. The one thing I didn't forgot, I just remember when I looked at the back, it's a bolt-on, so, um, but they have it kind of rounded here, so it feels pretty nice, you know, it looks like I'm being funny with the guitar, I'm not, I'm just feeling the roundness of the heel joint right here, so. Um, I gotta give it two thumbs up, I think it's pretty fantastic, I was right, I thought this was gonna be a stellar guitar. Um, and I was correct. I think that probably this guitar will sell before this video even goes out. I have a feeling. So anyways, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you've had some fun too. And I do appreciate you hanging out and watching all the silliness to the end. My name is John. You can call me Smelly and I'll see you in the next video.